Hello, I'm Dr. Achal Pant and today we are going to discuss a very important topic which is superficial fungal infection. How to treat and how we can prevent the recurrence. Superficial fungal infections have become an epidemic in India in the past few years. Our OPDs are flooded with patients with superficial fungal infection and they are coming back to us with recurrent infection and also drug resistance meaning that you know important medicines are not working on their condition so it's high time that we understand this condition and know how to protect ourselves from the fungal infection and what could be the causes that are causing this recurrence so we will look into all these factors in this video today fungal infection has become a health hazard it is affecting a large number of people and in a family multiple members are affected it has become an economic burden because these antifungal uh, tablets are not cheap you know they are quite expensive when you have to take these medicines for a period of about three weeks sometimes up to three months it can become a very big economic hazard and can cost you so we need to understand how we can prevent these infections and how we can effectively treat it. There are multiple reasons why there is a sudden rise in the number of fungal infection. Few being urbanization, we are living in smaller homes now, there is overcrowding, there isn't proper hygiene and also longer commutes making people travel for long distances for work and they are sweating and also because of increased humidity and increase in use of steroid creams or over-the-counter creams that is given by chemists and the most important being non-compliance to medication. Patients are taking medications, stopping them midway, not completing their course. All these are leading to a rise in the fungal infections. The most commonly seen fungal infections are caused by dermatophytes these uh, fungi are skin loving so they break the upper layer of the skin and they derive nutrition from the skin so it can occur in areas wherever there is water logging or logging of sweat so areas such as the armpits such as the groin area in the buttocks up beneath your breast all these are areas where you see this fungal infection so how do they appear they appear as red round lesions they can be red, sometimes darker colored. They are round lesions with scaling in the corners and they, are, they cause significant discomfort. They can be a lot of itching. And in some patients who have like, you know, severe infection, it can even cause burning sensation and irritation, which is accompanied by a lot of redness around these lesions. So these are the usual features. It usually starts from the body folds but can spread to involve any part of the body. Nowadays we are seeing a lot of facial lesions and a lot of lesions even on the arms and extremities that is away from the body folds. So what should you do when you have a fungal infection? First and foremost you have to consult a qualified dermatologist or a qualified health professional who is well equipped to deal with this condition to properly diagnose this condition and also treat it effectively. And second most important thing is that you understand your condition and complete the medication. Take the medication as advised for the number of period that has been advised. This is very important because when you suddenly start the medicines, you feel that there is an improvement in symptoms. Within one or two weeks, you feel that the fungal infection has cleared away completely. But that is not the case. The fungus takes time to get cleared away from the skin. You might get symptomatic relief, but there is still fungus on your skin. So until you get rid of that, you cannot stop the treatment. So follow the doctor's advice, take it for the number of weeks that they have advised you for. Also apply the creams regularly and as advised. Do not leave the creams or medications midway. This will lead to recurrence of the infection. So make sure that you are completing the course as per the advice of the doctor. And one important thing to understand is that please do not take medicines from a chemist store, from a pharmacist. They can only dispense the medicines, cannot prescribe it without examining. And nobody should be prescribing you medicines without examining you completely. So make sure that you're visiting a qualified professional for this condition and you're uh, getting examined completely before you start the medications and one more important thing is always take all the documents with you whenever you visit a doctor 
whatever past medicines you've taken in case you're having a recurrent infection so that the doctor has a fair knowledge of what medicines you've taken in the past and what not to repeat or you know how much impact you've uh, had from the last medicine so this always helps the doctor in deciding the medication so if you have taken oral antifungals in the past for a good two to three months and the lesions completely resolved and then it came back again you want to share this fact with your treating doctor you have to share the medicines that you've taken and how long did you take what creams did you apply all this will help them in making a decision as to which drug to prescribe you for this current infection so see we do understand that certain antifungal uh, tablets and creams are slightly expensive and you might not want to take it for you know two to three months but just remember that not treating this infection is going to only cause recurrence and then it is only going to make it more expensive in the long run. So better to treat it properly and completely in the first go itself. So oh, I'm repeating this again and again, but please understand that you have to complete the course of the medication and not stop it midway. And in this video, I will not be naming any brands of medicine, either oral or topical, because what happens is that all these drugs are dispensed over the counter. I don't want you to go and buy these medicines over the counter from a chemist. That completely defies the purpose of this video, right? So I want you to get the knowledge, understand why this uh, condition occurs, why this infection is occurring again and again, and how to treat it. But understand that you have to visit a qualified dermatologist and then only take treatment. Any kind of online consultation or, you know, just reading something online and taking medicine is not going to help you with this condition, especially because it has become rampant today. It needs to be controlled properly and the course has to be taken. And we also need to look into your past history. So all this can only be done when you are face to face with the doctor. So remember to visit a qualified dermatologist. So there are important things you need to understand when you are having a fungal infection. So there are certain things you need to do. First and foremost, you must take a bath daily, okay, twice if possible. And after taking a bath, you'll wipe yourself completely. Especially you'll wipe the areas of the body fold like the armpit, the groin area, the buttock area has to be wiped dry and uh, try to use a shower gel. Do not use very big soaps or share soap with anybody. So I prefer to tell my patients to use shower gel. If you do want to use a soap, use a small bar of soap that can be discarded after a few days so that even if there is a little bit of fungal infection on the soap, you're not bringing it back onto your skin again. And make sure that all your clothes are ironed, your undergarments are properly ironed before you wear them. Make sure that your towel is washed every day and your towel has to be ironed. Try to use a thin cotton towel, not the thick Turkish towels. Use thin cotton towel which can dry easily. It is very important to iron your towel because the fungus tend to thrive in areas which are moist. So even the towel, you know, in humid uh, conditions, when it is very hot and humid, sometimes the towel does not dry away completely. You can still feel that it's slightly damp and it is there that the fungus will go and stick onto the towel. So make sure that it is ironed. Try to wear loose cotton clothing, especially your pants. Do not wear any denim or any thick material which will make you sweat. At these areas like the groin, the buttock area should be dry. So the undergarments need to be cotton and try to wear cotton pants which are loose so that there is aeration there and you, there is no sweat logging. So make sure that your pants are loose and, and it is airy. If you are suffering from fungal infection, all your clothes need to be washed separately, not with the other family members. Otherwise, there is always a chance of the infection being transferred to other family members. So your clothes are going to be washed separately, sun dried and ironed. If you work out in the gym, make sure that you're wearing sweat absorbent uh, material. Your clothes have to be sweat absorbent. And as soon as you finish your workout, go for a bath and dry yourself and change your workout clothes regularly. Give it for a wash every day and also wear it only after ironing it. Keep your nails short. 
sometimes nails could be the place where this fungus is hiding right so your nails need to be short and try not to scratch yourself if you do feel like scratching you can apply maybe a little bit of an antifungal cream or a little bit of a calamine lotion to give you the soothing effect but do not scratch scratching will injure your skin further it will also transfer the infection into your fingertips and then when you scratch somewhere else there is chance of transfer so that is something you don't want to do also i cannot stress on this point more take the medicines properly for the number of uh, weeks or months that has been prescribed to you by the doctor and whatever creams that you've been given apply it in a 2 cm margin beyond the lesion so you'll apply it within the lesion as well as 2 cm margin beyond so this will also help in preventing recurrence steroid creams have been implicated in worsening of the fungal infection also the epidemic that we are seeing steroid you know kind of reduces the inflammation for some time. Time, so you feel that your infection has become better, but the fungus is multiplying, right? So it is not actually helping you. It is only reducing the reaction of your body to the fungus, but it is not taking care of the fungal infection. So it is only making the condition worse, and is also thought to give rise to resistant strains. So please do not use any steroid creams when you are having fungal infection, and. always use creams only after understanding what it contains and how the components work so this is a patient who had used steroid cream in his groin area which he took over the counter without consulting any doctor he had used it for about 3 to 4 weeks and as you can see he has developed stretch marks in this area so please do not use any creams containing steroid in your groin area or anywhere else on your skin without consulting a doctor i'll be listing down the names of steroids in the description box below you can check these components in your creams and do not use those creams in such areas you should be using only plain antifungal creams in this areas there should be no steroid combination applied in areas such as groin under the breast and in your armpit so please know what your creams contain before you use them I hope you found this video useful. If you like such skin and hair related content, then you can follow us on other social media handles. If you like such skin and hair related videos, then you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.